Well, next up, 31-year-old Bremerton, Washington resident, Bree Sharp, USA One driver, and Emily Azevedo, the brake woman from Chico, California. Yeah, Emily's really a dynamic there. Off Sharp and Emily Azevedo. Emily is pushing great. Emily Azevedo. I know Emily is going to be incredible. In the Olympics, wasn't always a dream for Emily Azevedo. Emily Azevedo. I was surprised. Bob sledding came from left field, frankly. Pam Jackson coached Emily at Chico High School. And while Jackson calls Emily's new endeavor out of the norm, she says her competitive edge has always been the same. Uh, you know, I think they kind of thought I was joking for a little while there. Um, I graduated college. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with my life. And I, you know, each, each week I had a new endeavor I was going to go and do, a new goal. And so um, I saw it on the 2006 Olympic Games. That's how I originally got introduced to bobsled. And um, I thought it was something that I could do. There was a girl, she was, from UC, she was from UC Santa Barbara. She had won a silver. And so it was kind of inspiring me um, to, to try and do it as well. So I called him up and said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to bobsled. And they're like, OK, sure, go ahead and do it. Um, but it was actually my younger sister, Geneva, who really kind of um, helped me make the decision to go out and really try out. I, you know, I had so many reasons why I wasn't going to do it. It was scary. It would cost a lot of money. And um, she, you know, she told me, why why not? And I really just didn't feel like I could let her down as well. And so... Um... It was a really stressful year, and so um, the, the stress was kind of off at the Olympics, and it's kind of crazy to say that because everyone, you know, says, well, this is the biggest stage, and um, you're competing at the biggest athletic stage, and you should be nervous, but I really wasn't nervous because I, I think I knew that I was there to show off and to compete and to do what I had uh, worked on doing all year, and so um, it was kind of relaxing because I had made it, and um, the pressure was kind of off in that aspect, so... Um, it was a it was a pretty awesome experience, and um, it was even more incredible to have my family there and my cousins, and to be so close to the United States, uh, having it in Vancouver. So, the Georgian Embassy tonight reports the death of a 21-year-old Olympian in the luge competition on a training run this Friday morning here at the Whistler Sliding Center just north of Vancouver. 21-year-old Nodar Kumar Ishnasvili lost control of his sled near the finish line. He was thrown over the track wall, slamming into an unpadded steel pole. CPR was administered on the Olympian. He was taken to the hospital and he subsequently has died of those injuries. It was the day of the opening ceremony that he had passed away. Um, and fortunately for us, we don't have a lot of connection with the youth losers, uh, so I didn't know him, fortunately. Um, but it does affect you. I mean, that's obviously the track that you're going to be sliding your Olympics on, and um, we really had to focus on kind of putting it out of our minds a bit so that we could still, we were still there to do a job, and so uh, I still needed to focus on, on doing that job, and so I kind of tried to, tried to zone it out as much as possible is Jamie Grubel and Emily Azevedo. This is the USA two sled. 29-year-old Jamie Grubel from Arlington, Massachusetts. The fastest American sled in heat one. Let's see if she can do that again. Quite a few of the sleds have improved their start time since the first heat. Jamie and Emily, 6.48. Improved their start time by four hundredths of a second too. That's a, that's pretty good. Well, she was the fourth fastest start in the first heat. She'll be the fourth fastest start in the second heat as well. Sixty-five nine is good velocity as well. But Jamie, this is the the first time I think she's been in the top three after the first heat. So maybe she's feeling a little bit of pressure right now. But uh, only twelve hundredths of a second back, she may be able to reel that in. Well, she's had two fourth place finishes, Park City and Winterberg this season. She didn't race on this track last year. She is still in medal contention. Is be close. 
She needs to be absolutely flawless at the bottom. She's tied at much better speed than Alana Myers. She is going to take the lead unless she wrecks it in 18 and 19. Wow. Eight hundreds in front. What a great second drive. Was she feeling nerves? I don't think too many. It's really flowing here at La Plan, and she takes Amazing, the lead by yeah. a quarter of a second. Well, she felt that pressure just let it release. That was a great way to handle it, that second run. Yeah, you can't say much more. You can't say enough good things about it. Uh, this was my seventh year, and I haven't had the opportunity to win a World Cup medal. That was my first one. Um, I just have kind of been in the wrong place at the wrong time, and uh, it was just nice to get that experience um, kind of off the back of my shoulder, you know, something a monkey on my back a little bit, kind of there, just, you know, uh, never having a medal. So it was a good experience and something that I can draw on um, moving forward and trying to make Sochi. Hopefully make it. <laughs> um, you know, I'll, I'll leave here in a couple weeks and I'll go back to Colorado Springs where is my home base for training and I will start training for the season and um, you know it'll all kick off. We do some testing in August and then October and then the season will kick off and it's going to be go 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 trying to earn that spot. So um, you know my plan is to hopefully earn a spot and then from there you know focus on winning a medal. So. Um, you gotta just take it day by day though, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty huge undertaking and uh, pretty stressful, so, um, and anything can happen, so just trying to s maintain uh, my health and um, making sure that I'm prepared for, for the season. You want to write down and admit, because that's not where they would like to be in terms of competition, but it is a better start. 12 hundredths of a second drop, you know, they, Emily's got to be happy with the improvement. Bree had a great trip driving the second heat, so if they can put those two things together, you know, maybe they can move up from...